In Tower Defense Simulator, there's a special kind of tower called a unit tower. These towers spawn units that move along the track to attack the enemies. In the recent update, we just received a brand new unit tower, that being the Necromancer. So in this video, I decided I wanted to try beating hardcore mode, the hardest game mode in TDS, using only unit towers. Because I knew this was going to be really difficult, I needed some good teammates. So I brought another TDS YouTuber, Kenu, who happened to be very sick when we were recording. It was good. What is not good? And Thatcher, a TDS admin, which gave us the ability to use the mecha base, by far the most powerful unit tower in the game. With my team assembled, we went into our first attempt. And Thatcher forgot to bring the farm. It was a great, it was a great first attempt, guys. On our second attempt, when Thatcher actually remembered to bring the farm, we decided that me and Kenu would be responsible for the early game, while Thatcher would try and farm for a mecha base. I'm assuming Golden could boss early, or? Probably. And then I think Sir Corp would just gotta farm until he can get mecha base and carry us. Although we did leak, this went pretty well as I got a golden crook and Kenu got an elf camp. I didn't even realize he was dressed up as Cradle's messy. It's quite impressive. It is pretty impressive. However, when I was busy admiring Thatcher's drip, I completely forgot that we had to deal with the flying enemies and we quickly lost this attempt. However, as Kratos Messi suggested, we could try using the Engineer as it gets flying detection at level 2. So I decided to switch out the military base and replace it with the Engineer. We also decided to try playing on Crossroads as it has a big loop which can be very useful for killing enemies. The early game was pretty much the same with me getting a Golden Crook boss and Kenu getting an Elf Camp. I just have like one question, why are you using that uh, Golden Crook boss skin? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> That's the blue head mafia right there, buddy. On wave 10 came the first hiddens, but luckily, Kenu's elf camp was able to just barely keep us alive. Are we, are we dead? Oh my god, damn near. But things weren't going to get easier just because we beat that wave. Just two waves later, we got our first flying enemies. We quickly placed down level 2 engineers to try and defend, and to our surprise, this actually worked, and we got past this wave. No way, clutch! After this, I decided to start getting my own farms, while Kenu handled the defense by spamming military bases. The lead enemies on wave 14 weren't an issue either, as the engineer can see pretty much everything. Then I got distracted and started talking about the new engineer skin. Dang, the sentry looks hella sick. Wait, let me see this. I haven't seen this actually. Yeah. What? I forgot to showcase cool. it and the dev was hella mad at me. But a big threat was creeping up, the mega slow on wave 19. Essentially, we needed Thatcher to get the mecha base before this wave or we were done for. <laughs> Luckily, he had already gotten 4 level 3 farms, so at this point he was just saving up the cash needed to buy it. That left me and Kenu responsible for defending, but that wasn't that big of an issue. I don't- I've only died like twice to this wave. Yeah, it's about to be your third time. Oh, these guys destroy units, I forgot. Yeah. Oh wait, we're dead. No. No, no. Oh my god. After we just barely survived on 5 HP, wave 19 finally rolled around, and unfortunately, Thatcher still could not afford the mecha base. So we frantically skipped the wave, and while it was close, Thatcher could just barely afford the mecha base. Once he got it, this completely shredded the slow boss, allowing us to successfully pass this wave. For the next couple of ways, things weren't that difficult as the mecha base was pretty much able to carry us. Because of this, I realized that my farming was terrible and I had almost no income. <laughs> my eco's so bad, I have one farm. Where? I don't see it. <laughs> this, this level 2 farm right here. So I started working on fixing my income. But this also happened to be on wave 25, which was the wave of 3 shadow bosses. Oh, here we go. Oh my goodness. For a second, I thought this was going to be an issue, but I forgot how overpowered the mecha base is. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god wait is that enough that's that that's easily enough yo we're chilling guys <laughs> the mecha base easily handled the shadow bosses and also the fallen rushers on wave 30 at this point thatcher got on a max level mecha base which could destroy pretty much anything that it can hit oh my god mecha base is carrying so hard it's at 35k damage <laughs> This tower is so broken in fact, that even wave 32, a wave with 5 shadow bosses, which usually is one of the hardest waves to beat, was not at all an issue. However, an actual threat was coming up on wave 36, the Gravedigger. This guy got a whopping 40,000 HP, can stomp to stun my towers and damage my units, and can summon enemies. That's a pretty strong enemy, but Mecha Base does not care, and just like all the other enemies before this, absolutely destroyed it. This had me pretty confident, and I had a pretty good feeling that we could win this. But my dreams would be crushed on wave 39 when the first lead balloons came out. Lead balloons are a special type of enemy, being both flying and lead. That means that the only tower that we have that can hit this is the engineer itself and not even its sentries. Because the engineer has a pretty bad base DPS without its sentries, we stood no chance in beating these balloons and eventually lost the game. Wave 39 is honestly a lot farther than I thought it would make it and I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm going to end this video here. 
And if you like this video, make sure to check out Kenu's channel as his content is pretty similar to mine, so I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Big thanks to him and Thatcher for helping out with this video. And before I leave, I'd like to thank Bombert, Mr. Bedino, Blood in Your Lungs, Rosali Ascona, Noob Gamer, CIA Agent Mert, Guest, You May Never Know, Adam, Stay Hydrated, Sir Lag, Mr. Autistic Man, Mr. Giggles, Sniper Mask, Grow, Dad, Pot of Sprout, Elixir US, Solox, Purple Guy, Nimbus the Wicker, The Figure, and John Doe 684 for supporting my content by becoming a channel member. If you'd like to help me out and get some special perks in the meantime, like being my friend on Roblox, consider becoming a channel member today. It helps me out a lot and I really appreciate it. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed, hit that like button and subscribe to join the Blue Head Mafia. My name is Corso and I'll see y'all in the next video. Thank you.